Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Lessard. Today is Wednesday, June 3rd, 2020. I can't believe we're in June. All right, let's look at this new calendar. So exciting. Do you remember our June calendar? We had one, two, and today is number three. So that's easy. Then you go up on it like a graph and it's Wednesday, wah, wah, which I already told you. Sun, sun, or AA. What do you think today's gonna be? Do you think it's another sun or something different? Here we go. It's a fish. <laughs> so, so far we have A, A, B. Sun, sun, fish. What do you think tomorrow is going to be? Mm -hmm. All right, today is Wednesday. We have Workout Wednesday with Miss Ross. If she sends me the link, I will send it along to you. If it's not there when I send out the menu, I'll, I'll reply all and send it to you that way. Uh, she's been good at sending it, though, early in the morning. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I think this is the last one because next week we have field day. Um, I'm excited for that. I have all the information. I'm just waiting to send it because I don't want to send it too early and have it get lost or overwhelmed. But that's going to be a lot of fun next week. Field day. That whole day is going to be fun stuff for you to do outside and take pictures and videos and send it to her. And she's super excited about it. All right. Question of the day. I, for the first time, did not go in a row from the list. I jumped around because I figured I want to hit some of the good ones since we're at the end. And I chose, since we're doing all our summer birthdays this week, what is your favorite thing about your birthday? Um, my favorite thing is just being with my family. My family spoils me. I get to eat my favorite food. And they usually get me a cake. And we're together. And that's what I love. But for you, it might be the presents. I know how five and six-year-olds think. But oh, we'll see. What's your favorite thing about your birthday? Or maybe you're excited just to be a year older. All right. My favorite, one of my favorite books. Love, 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 love this book. Even though I usually read it around Halloween, I have to bring it back because I love it. Creepy pair of underwear. Look at the punctuation. Do you remember what that's called? I hope you said exclamation point and it's all caps. That means you say it loud. And look, it glows in the dark. I love this. Uh, the words by Aaron Reynolds and the pictures by Peter Brown. He's done a lot of famous books. He also does the creepy carrots. There's the undies. <laughs> Oh, such a good book. Such a good book. Oh, and look at the title page. How big is that? Creepy pair of underwear. <laughs> Jasper Rabbit needed some new underwear. On Thursday, Mom took him to the underwear store and grabbed the last three packages of plain white. As they headed to the checkout, Jasper spotted them. <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> Creepy underwear. So creepy, so comfy. They were glorious. Mom, Mom, can we get these? Jasper pleaded. Oh, I think they're a little too creepy, said Mom. They're not creepy. They're cool, said Jasper. I'm not a little bunny anymore. I'm a big rabbit now. And Mom agreed to buy one pair. Look at her eyes. She's like... <laughs> that night, Jasper wore his cool new underwear to bed. Do you want me to leave the hallway light on us, Dad? Dad, I'm not a little bunny anymore, said Jasper. I'm a big rabbit now. His dad shut the door, and that's when Jasper noticed. <laughs> the underwear glowed. A ghoulish greenish glow. How cool is that? They glow in the dark. I love it. He closed his eyes. He pulled up. Up the covers. He buried his face in his pillow. But it didn't help. He could still see the ghoulish greenish glow. Jasper leaped out of bed. Put on a pair of plain white. He stuffed the creepy under in the bottom of the laundry hamper. And he finally fell asleep. Oh look he put him in the hamper. Can you see them in the hamper? Yeah. But when he got up the next day. He was wearing the creepy underwear. Jasper threw them in the garbage can. He was still a big rabbit. He wasn't scared of anything. But he was done with scary underwear. They were back on. So he threw them in the trash outside. After school, Jasper was doing his homework when he heard it. A scratchy, scraping sound coming from the dresser. He opened the dresser and... They were back. Staring at him with that ghoulish, greenish glow. How'd they get there? They were in the trash. He snatched the creepy underwear out of the drawer. He grabbed a big envelope... And some stamps, and he wrote to China. 
Bye bye, Scary Underwear, he said, and he dropped the package in the mailbox. So he mailed them to the other side of the world. Can't say I blame him. When he opened the front door the next morning, there they were. And look, you gotta look. There's chopsticks in there from China. And were those chopsticks? His creepy pair of underwear had somehow returned from China and it had brought back souvenirs? Look how afraid he is. He's like, wow, so scary. Jasper grabbed his mom's good sewing scissors. She didn't like him using them, but this was an underwear emergency. And this time, creepy underwear were good. good. Look at him. We chopped them all up. Bye-bye undies. At bedtime, he slowly opened his underwear drawer. Nothing. Ah, oh, just plain white undies. He searched under his bed. He shook out the lampshades. Whew! It's no sign of creepy underwear. And he went to the bathroom to comb his ears. <laughs> they were bad. <laughs> What's the matter with you, his mom asked. You're so jittery lately. Oh, nothing. He helped. A grown rabbit couldn't be terrified of his underpants. <laughs> He's really afraid, though, isn't he? He seized the underwear. Oh, I like that word, seized. That means he grabbed it quickly. He snagged. Oh, another good word, snagged. A shovel from the garage, and he rode. And he didn't stop pedaling until he reached Creek Hanger Hill. So he went way up to the top of that hill. Do you see him up there? There's the underwear and a shovel. What do you think he's going to do? Jasper began to dig. He dug until his hole was dark and deep and 100% underwear proof. He dropped the underwear in. They gleamed from the bottom, that ghoulish greenish glow. But not for long. What did he do? He buried them. Really far. Really deep down. When he got home, Jasper crept, crept up to his dresser. They couldn't be in there. There was no way, right? He reached for the handle. He peeked in. Nothing. Just plain white. Jasper smiled and turned out the light. Oh, oh. Look at that page. What's happening? It's pitch dark. There's just one problem. It's really dark in here. Even for a big rabbit. Look at his eyeballs. <laughs> Jasper turned on the light. He looked for his non-glowy pair of plain white, and he knew what he had to do. The creepy underwear were a little muddy, but they still filled the room with that gentle greenish glow. What did he do? He went and dug up his underwear. <laughs> he wanted them back because they glowed in the dark like a nightlight. The next day, Jasper gathered his allowance money and went to the underwear store all by himself, just like a big rabbit. That night, Jasper wasn't scared at all. As he lay down to sleep, he smiled, and so did his underwear, because they had finally found someone who wasn't scared. See? Now he's happy. It gives him like a nightlight. Of creepy underwear. Look at his bedroom. It's like a nightlight. And they all have funny, cute little faces on them. And look how happy he is. He can sleep. The end. I love the back page, too. Oh, there he is. Ah, clap if you liked it. It's such a good book. Oh, and I love glow-in-the-dark things. They have glow-in-the-dark shirts, and I don't find them creepy. I find them fun when they glow in the dark. And uh, he realized it, too. It served as a cold nightlight. Have a super fantastic day, guys. Um, have fun. I'll try to attach um, uh, the workout Wednesday and answer the question for me. And Seesaw, I already put some new assignments, and I have not gotten to everyone to respond to yesterday's work. I'll finish that in a bit. Have a super fantastic day, guys. I miss you. Mwah.